Hello everybody, my name is Maciej Winkowski, I'm a game designer at Techland, I work on Dying Light. Na Gamescom falamos com os produtores da Techland, os mesmos que nos trouxeram Dead Island. Sim, é mais um jogo num cenário apocalíptico, mas o que é que o distingue? O que é exatamente Dying Light? Dying Light is a first person action survival game. Um, it's set in an open world. Uh, we have dynamic day and night cycle with gameplay shifting from day to night as you had chance to uh, play yourself. Um, you know, during the day you would mostly uh, concentrate on looting, exploration, getting crafting materials and during, during the night when things go crazy it's all about you surviving uh, until the sun rises. The time stop you run, boy, run. There's, uh, there's a big story inside of it, there, I, I can't give you any, too, too many details on this story just yet, um, but there's a lot of questions, uh, a lot of things to discover throughout the story, and of course there are a lot of side missions and other activities that you can perform during the game. You'll find a lot of different kinds of infected, um, but you also encounter humans because you know it's a quarantine city and not everybody's infected. They're humans as well. Some of them will be friendly. Some of them will be straight hostile. Others, well, if you get into the turf, they'll definitely not let you easily take their stuff. But if you say, "Hey, I, I I'm backing off. I'll leave you guys in peace," they're, they're not going to fight you. Apesar de ser um jogo na primeira pessoa, promete ser algo diferente daquilo que estamos habituados. Será mais virado para a ação durante o dia e mais virado para a sobrevivência durante a noite. Então e como é que vai funcionar o sistema de progressão? E quais é que vão ser os modos de jogo que vão estar disponíveis? Não estamos compartilhando muitos detalhes sobre o desenvolvimento de character ainda, mas o que eu posso lhe dizer é que há um número muito grande de habilidades especiais que você pode desbloquear. Um sort de so, so sort of to, you know, enhance your arsenal of tricks that you can uh, that you can uh, play with. Uh, and of course there's also a large number of, of passive skills for you to unlock. Then we have, uh, uh, you can add to that like really big arsenal of weapons. You mostly concentrate on melee weapons, but of course there are also firearms. And there's crafting, so you can, there's, there's a lot of ways for you to modify your weapons. And there's a four player uh, co-op. So and it's seamless. So you, you don't have to go to any lobby or whatever. You're just playing your game, uh, and you can join your friends, or your friends can join you with just a single click of a button. Por último, quisemos saber dos desafios de desenvolver para a nova geração e quais são as diferenças em relação à geração atual. Dying Light is coming for the current, as well as the current gen, as well as the next gen, and we're trying to do. We'd like players to have the same. Uh, the same experience, you know, it's still the dying light, it's, you, you get the whole package. But of course, having better hardware allows us to kind of pump it up even more with the next gen.